Hi everyone, Owen from Plan Easy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own semi-automated spend tracker using Google Forms and Google Sheets. So we're going to start by logging into Google Drive, and if this is your first time logging in, you're probably going to see something like this, not very much. What we're going to set up is a new uh, Google Form. So we're going to go to More, go to Google Forms, we're going to click the button, and a new form is going to pop up. So let's call it Spend Tracker. And that should automatically change the name of your form. We're going to add a couple new questions. So the first question we're going to add is an amount question. And we're going to make that a short answer. And automatically, we should see that Google thinks it's a number, and it's going to validate that we're entering numbers. That's all you have to do there. Next one, we're going to add our categories. So we're going to say a category. We're gonna make that a drop down, and we're gonna add a couple of categories. So let's say we have rent, groceries, entertainment, maybe we've got a car payment, gym membership, and some spending money. We're also gonna add an other category at the end, just to capture anything that doesn't fit within the other categories above. And then the last question here, we're going to make a description. And that's going to be optional. And this one, we're going to want it to be a short paragraph. And that's it. So that's our form. That's our expense tracker form. And now what we want to do is link this to a Google Sheet. So we're going to go to Responses, and we're going to click here, Create Spreadsheet. And that's going to prompt us to either create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. We want to create a new one. It's going to be called Spend Tracker Responses, and we'll create that. The next thing we want to do is go here. We're going to add a couple of expenses just to show you how this works. So we'll add 850 in rent. Let's spend another one. We're going to put in $65 in grocery expenses. We're going to add another $35 in groceries. And maybe we'll add our $45 gym membership. So we've got a couple transactions. We can go back to Google Drive. And already we should see our spend tracker uh, spreadsheet here. We're going to open that up. And here are the transactions we just entered. So those transactions should show up within one to two seconds after entering it in our spend tracker form. So now we want to add a new sheet. We're going to call that sheet spend tracker summary. And we're going to add a couple pieces of information here. So we want the tracker start date. This will be the date from which it will summarize expenses. So let's set that as May 1st, 2018. And then we want the tracker end date. And let's say that's June 1st, 2018. So the tracker is going to automatically summarize expenses between those two dates. You can set it up to be any dates you want, uh, any month, a week, uh, two, three months, uh, whatever, whatever time frame you want to summarize your expenses for. We're going to add our categories, and these should be the same that you added in your, in your Google Forms. We have rent, groceries, entertainment, also got our car payment gym membership, spending money, and we've got our other category. And then here we want to track our spend. So I'm gonna enter uh, the formula. You can get this from the blog post, and the link is in the comment section of the video, or you can get it directly from the blog post at planeasy.ca. So we're gonna format that as currency, and this formula is automatically gonna look at our expense uh, responses here in our form, it's going to summarize them for us between those two dates, depending on the category. So let's drag that down. So we can see groceries, $100 so far this month. Gym, $45. Now we can test it out. So let's go back here to our spend tracker. Let's add another expense. Let's say that we spent um, $130. And it's going to be on our spending money. And we can add a description if we want, and then hit submit. If we go back here to spend tracker responses, we're going to see that 130 show up. It's going to be here in our list of 
expenses that we've made, and it's going to show up in our summary. So this is great, great alternative for if you don't want to use Mint, you don't want to give Mint your passwords, or if you do, if you're like you need a budget, uh, but you don't want to pay the monthly fees. Using Google Forms and Google Sheets, you can set up your own spend tracker that's semi-automated. Still have to do manual expense entries, but everything is summarized for you, and you have all the history of all your expenses uh, as long as you've entered them. That's it. If you need any help setting this up, please reach out to us. Go to planeasy.ca and click Start Planning, and you can set up an appointment with one of our fee-for-service financial planners. Thanks a lot.